Virgo and welcome to your February monthly reading. Let's see. So first things first, of course, this is going to be a general reading as usual. So it will not resonate with all of you if you feel like this message doesn't fit your situation, don't force it. Um, you can check out um, readings for your other signs, your moon, rising, Venus, whatever sign you connect with. There might be something more um, specific to you, but I hope there's something here for you. Now, if you've been watching my videos before uh, for different months, um, I'm going to be doing something a little different this month. I have a lot of decks here and I am doing different portions. A main mes message, a love message, a hazards message, and then some uh, general advice. So any feedback on this new system would be very much appreciated. So likes, comments, uh, sub subscribe also. also. I cannot talk today. Um, all very much appreciated. Okay. So I know what to do next month if I should stick with this or go back to the original simple spread. Virgo. It's coming up in February for you. February for Virgo. Let's see. That's the main message. is a little raspy. I hope it gets a little better in a while. We have the Fool, Fortune's Wheel and Love. So Fool, Wheel of Fortune and Lovers. Page of Fire at the bottom of the deck. Feels important. I'm just going to go ahead and take it. Okay, so what I'm getting here, um, somehow it's really difficult for me to get the right words today. Um, <laughs> it's like the message has come and it's not in words. In short, it feels like something is about to change. There is going to be some sort of a um, decision that needs to be made by you. Um, it could be a person, okay? It could be someone, um, fire sign, possibly um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We also have the Gemini card here. In case that applies. So the lovers usually taken as card about love as it is here. Love. Uh, two sides coming together harmoniously. Um, it can also be about self-love, you getting along with yourself. But there's also this aspect of Having to make a decision, um, and with the wheel, especially the 
fool in the wheel. It's like something is coming. Something big is coming. And it's going to change things in a big way. Now, this page of fire, <clears throat> one thing that I always noticed in this card, um, I don't know if you agree or whoever, if you have this deck, if you agree, but um, there's this weird butterfly spiral thing around this girl, but it always looks to me like she's pointing. It's not her hand, but it looks like she's pointing. So it's like this page is someone who kind of comes in and points you to the right, right direction, to a new direction. Um, imagine... If you're playing video games, for example, there's usually someone who goes like, I have a quest for you, head out that way to do something. That kind of energy. Okay, let me clarify that fool. Chariot. The High Priestess and the Empress. This is big. Okay, we have like all major arcana here so far. Um, Chariot, High Priestess, and the Empress. Sword Fool. Wow. And six of wands at the bottom of the deck right now, so more fire. Really feels like something big is coming, but you're ready for it. It's like you've been pre pre preparing for this change. Maybe not consciously, but it's like the world has been preparing you for it. You have the knowledge, you have the strength and um, I want to say stamina. I don't know where that's coming from, but I want to say stamina. You have to drive. Just gonna go ahead and get something for the wheel. Let's see if we can get a hint of what this would be. No way. No way. Five of Wands and Ten of Swords. Okay, finally we have something a little different. No court cards or major gonna. Um, conflict. Big time. Okay, we have five of wands, which is chaos, conflict, uh, confusion between people. Not getting along. And ten of swords, which is like dead end. Uh...
Now we have the Empress and the Emperor here. It could be that... Um, you've been in a... In a relationship with someone who is very kind of emperor like um i want to say controlling okay because it's kind of like an authority figure um very charismatic and um in control it's also the aries card One thing at a time. So it could be that this is um, a relationship that is not healthy and that is coming to a close and um, or you will have a possibility to end it. Um, if you've been looking for a way out, um, it seems like there is going to be something presented to you that is going to make this happen if you want to take that path. And if it's being toxic or, I mean, I hate to go there, but abusive, possibly, it seems like really a way to um, get to a more harmonious place. <clears throat> Okay, and the second possibility here, I was going to already jump to that. This could be this um, page of fire here. <clears throat> that kind of pulls you into um, an adventure. And out of this. Okay. Something is going to be presented to you, um, but it's up to you to either take it or not. Um, but so far, it looks like taking it would be a definitely good good uh, choice. We got the three the the, the the three of cups for the lovers, um, which is having fun with your friends. Um, getting together, a uh, party, um, enjoying life with other people. Um, we have the Knight of Swords also. I'm just drawn to this image. Um, it's this kind of a figure. Um, battling this big bird creature. Okay, as a sword in the creature's mouth. So really pulling on that idea of an adventure. Like adventures are not all fun and Whoopsie, calm down. Um, fun and happy games and everything. Um, there's always some battles and obstacles and um, challenges on the way, right? Um, nothing in life is just perfect happiness. 
whatever this is. Um, you need to kind of weigh the the bad and the good if it's worth um, going for it. But I mean. The only really negative cards are right here, and it's like, this is your way out of that. And you have been preparing, you are ready for this. So I don't know if you are like hesitating for some reason, like don't. Don't hesitate anymore, just go for it. Okay? Whatever it is, it feels like it's gonna be big. It's gonna bring big changes for you, but like in a very, very good way. Yeah, there's gonna be some, mm, but I mean, you're the knight. You get, you, you got your sword. You can do it. There's like this definite feeling like the day is here. Finally, the day is here. Maybe you've been, you've had this sense of feeling that something big is coming and this is it. Now, I can't exactly say what it is because it's a general reading. Um, The strength card just popped up and it was also one that just fell out and I put it back. <clears throat> so gather your inner strength. I mean you got it. You got all it takes. To go for it. You're like you are standing here in like battle gear already, and this wheel is like a door slowly opening, like click by click, and you're standing there and you're like, Am I even ready for this? Like, yeah, you are. <laughs> you definitely are. And there either this emperor, if it's someone who is kind of controlling and holding you back it's gonna be left behind in smoke and dust um, or then it's someone who comes to pull you into this adventure but there's a lot of like fire sign because it's the Aries and Aries is fire there's a lot of I'm not saying it has to be a fire sign, but someone who has kind of a fiery personality. Okay, let's let's just see the oh. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands, more fire. And the High Priestess again, and the Ten of Cups. So it really, really seems like there is someone fiery coming your way. And they're going to offer you this Ten of Cups, like, come with me and I'm going to give you everything you ever wanted. If you are already in a relationship, um, things could speed up or heat up, okay? Uh, some passion. Ten of Cups is also the kind of happy family card, so... Um, possibly, 
hustle with this new adventure is kind of growing your family. Hmm? Maybe you've been preparing for it. And now it's happening. Regarding this love message. Hiding. Okay. So hiding obviously is about not revealing all your cards, okay? Keeping things to yourself. I'm kind of getting this sense of not necessarily to yourself alone, but together. Enjoying whatever this means, either a new relationship or uh, things getting heated or upgraded uh, in your current relationship. Maybe just instead of going public with it instantly, um, enjoying enjoying the good stuff. Just the two of you for some time. Let's see hazards. What evil is coming? To get you in February. What or who? And the Four of Pentacles. <coughs> okay. Interesting. to this one immediately. Imagine a situation you are, you meet a new person, okay? Let's say this is a new person and you're like, wow, this is amazing. Um, like I said, maybe it's good to kind of keep this um, to yourself. This, because Four of Pentacles to me is all about being selfish with what is yours and possibly even with what is not yours but just wanting it all I thought of kind of a crazy ex could be after you if if you don't keep it kind of um, to yourself And all this kind of fits um, the Six of Wands is kind of uh, about a victory uh, and I just linked it to like this idea of he's mine and I'm going to win him back. Um, even if you are in a relationship, might be that there is someone who tries to kind of get what is yours. And of course, it doesn't necessarily need to be related to this, but... It... Mm, okay. Other possibility, I was talking about a toxic relationship over here. 
and might be that this person is kind of not wanting to let you go, okay? Holding on to you because you are theirs and there's no way you are going to get away. Now we have the devil and the tower. Now either <clears throat> considering that this is the toxic relationship, this is like if you fall into their trap again, it's tower, everything just like, don't even, I don't, don't do it. Don't fall into that trap, okay? And now, the other possibility, because the devil can also be about excess and I just get this sense of like if you're too eager in sharing this with the world somehow that might really backfire especially like you find someone you are in a happy relationship and you start Telling everybody right away, like, I met this guy, they have a crazy ex, who's gonna ruin the whole thing for you. Really feels like there are some toxic people in your life, not necessarily related to your life, maybe boyfriend, husband, or... I'm talking about men, but I mean like partner, your crush, um, might even be as simple as you have a new job opportunity and you start talking about it and some crazy coworker comes and just ruins it for you completely. But really? There might be some crazy people in your life. Okay, Virgo? Keep keep your eyes open. And and maybe don't don't go sharing your uh, happy news right away. Really enjoy your happiness. Privately, <clears throat> for now. I'm not saying forever, but for now. Okay, how about internally? What might be causing issues? Wow. Addicted. It's not about choosing the chains. It's about choosing them again and again. Freedom was the worst of lies. I could have been a slaver or a slave, but I chose I choose the latter. Freedom is not a friend as it promises responsibility, failure, challenges. Freedom can be taken, can be broken, can be stripped naked and whipped and abused. Slavery is a much cleaner choice. If you give it all away at the beginning, how can they take it from you? So how can it be that it is so easy to believe that freedom is an illusion? And it's hard to feel that slavery is an illusion as well. Okay, so as much as I hate to kind of dwell in this 
idea of a toxic relationship because I don't hope that for anyone. Um, I hate to imagine that someone would be in that situation, um, feeling like there's no escape. But a lot of cards here actually point to that. And the addicted here really kind of like it like it said in the book, like slavery, like choosing to stay as a kind of slave. Because freedom is an illusion and like if you have been in that kind of situation that someone is controlling you so much that it feels like there's no escape from that so you might as well just accept that this is it. In the beginning of the reading I mentioned like there's no reason for you to not go on this adventure to take this new um, opportunity. And I was wondering, like, why would you not? Um, and this is clearly a reason um, that you might not feel like you are brave enough or strong enough or worthy enough which is all just a bunch of crap um because you are strong and worthy and brave and you have everything it takes to break out of that and if someone or something comes along and you have a chance to break out of that don't hesitate because even if in your mind you have constructed this idea that this is it for you. It's not. Okay, there feels like there is someone coming in who is offering you all this good stuff. So breaking away from that and kind of hiding away with this new person Maybe this crazy ex is not their crazy ex, but it's your crazy ex. And if you let them pull you back into that toxic hole, um, it's a tower. It's going to be like the end of it. But there is clearly someone who is giving you love and appreciation in a level that you might not have experienced in a long time, if ever. And it might be difficult to accept. But just because your, your mind cannot kind of comprehend that right now doesn't mean that you don't deserve it. You do, okay? More than anything. You do deserve it. Okay, some general advice for this. here. The Maggi indicates a period where you need to look deeper. It asks you to examine what you think you know and then keep going. Throughout our lives we build an infrastructure of beliefs that allow us to navigate life, but so often this system is built on top of a shaky foundation or out of weak materials. In other words, it is a time to question that which you have never noticed. What beliefs inform your decisions, passions, and ambitions? 
Maggi is a seer of illusion, and in turn, they are able to cut through the fog and get to work. The Maggi may see the world similar to a mirrored funhouse. They see the core of each experience and are able to acknowledge how many different realities exist in a single moment. Being able to see these many realities is a gift. It teaches us to be less attached to a single road, but instead see where all the roads meet. If we are courageous enough to see and be open to our life unfolding along any of the various roads, we invite in magic that few get to experience. So again, um, it's like, your eyes have been opened to what is happening and you see that all your kind of beliefs and your reality is not necessarily as you have been led to believe. Um, toxic relationships often have this idea of the toxic person kind of feeding the other one the reality, the idea the ideas that they like they construct your reality basically and keep you in this um world of make believe uh and you kind of settle into that and you start believing in that but when you start seeing um these different roads and that any given moment has different readings of it because everyone who is in a situation if there are many if you had one or two or more people in the same situation sees it completely differently okay so there is not just their point of view there is your point of view and you are starting to see that okay something is going to change and all these shaky foundations um, and fake reality, um, that's going to crumble away. And that you can take any of the roads that you want to take out of that hole. Fight all darkness with light. Yeah. So it does feel like you're coming out of a dark place. Maybe you have believed that this is not a bad situation. Um, Although you kind of knew that you let this kind of um, curtain on the situation, like, no, no, everything is fine, everything is fine. But there is a lot of toxicity here. But there's a lot of light on this side. There's a lot of light on this side. So just focus on the light stuff, and that will lead you away from the darkness. Think outside the box. It was just at the bottom, on the bottom of the deck. So think outside the box. I'm actually reading that as getting out of your box because it feels like you have been in a in a box living in that kind of a, a box a cage that you allowed yourself to believe in that you deserve 
And it's all okay that there is nothing better in life than that, living in that cage. We also have rid yourself of negative thoughts. So, would go with the um, addicted and like starting to believe that you do deserve better. Okay? And you're not a horrible person or worthless or a loser, whatever it is that you tell yourself. We all have those things, those keywords that uh, we assign ourselves that we keep telling ourselves when we feel down. Get rid of those. We also have keep your third eye ever watchful. Now I link this very heavily to intuition, okay? So whatever your intuition tells you, your intuition, okay? Not your negative self-talk on the back of your head. That is not intuition. Separate those things. Learn the difference. And just like be aware of all this toxic stuff and don't fall back in because it's time for the wheel to spin and for you to get out of that hole or cage or box or whatever. Because there is this lovers, there is this harmony coming in. There is such a relief and release. It's like coming into the light, into the sun after being inside for days and just breathing fresh air, that kind of opening. Okay, that got a lot darker than I thought it would. Um, but that was your reading, Virgo. It got very specific. So if you resonate with this, really let yourself... Acknowledge that you deserve better than any toxic situation, okay? And there is something better coming. Just trust that and let yourself believe that because it's true. So, if you have any comments regarding the new system, uh, I would definitely appreciate those. You can leave me comments. Um, if you want me to go back to the simpler one, I can also do that and I hope you do have a great February it might seem like a complete shit show at first but you'll get out of that okay just trust that thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon in another video okay bye